Blue 15. Played Millwall last season when I was at Middlesbrough. Um, it was a tough one at the Den. It's always a tough place to go. Um, in terms of before that, at Swansea, we played Man United. Um, the usual ones, Man United, Chelsea, and those types of games. They're always tough games, the top game playing against the top teams. Managed to get some, some good results and, and not so good results. So, um, yeah, yeah could probably pick one of a number, if I'm honest. They're all tough. Blue 11. Leeds recently was <laughs> quite an hostile one towards myself. Um, when I was a player, probably at Swansea when we played at Cardiff, um, that was always very, very hostile. Um, so yeah, going, linking it to derbies really. So um, yeah, the Cardiff one was always difficult. Oh, blue all the way, <laughs> number one. For me, probably Messi in the modern era. If you go back, obviously you've got Maradona and Pele. Um, between those two, going back a little bit, but there's been so many great players, unbelievable players. Um, I was a defender. I always liked Bobby Moore. I thought he was unbelievable. Uh, Franco Baresi, those types of defenders, in terms of the best defenders I've seen, but you, you can't look too far past Messi, I don't think. Blue again, four. I think the biggest achievement, or the things I look for more, is, is, is really the team development. Seeing the team, taking them from, from where you take them from, to then seeing them grow into something that you, you wanted to, or that, that end vision is, is I think I get more satisfaction out, out of that than rather than individual wins or if you want a trophy or you want a promotion, even though all those things are fantastic, that's what we're striving for. I think it's more the development of the team, taking them from the start and then seeing them grow into something that you, you were hoping for from the start. Red this time, 19. When I was at Swansea, Lee Trundle, um, Scouse, so they've all got a sense of humour, Scousers, and, uh, but he was unbelievably funny, brilliant guy. Um, really good footballer as well, but had the personality to match it off the pitch as well. So he was fantastic, probably the funniest. Yeah, I'd say I've met a lot of funny lads in football, but he was probably the, the funniest of them all. 25 red. Probably say where I grew up, Torquay, Torquay United. It was the team I supported as a kid. Um, watching them. I spent a period supporting Spurs when I was a little bit younger. That was only because my brother supported Arsenal, so I just did that out of spite, really. Um, but I would say probably probably it was Torquay United where, where I grew up and started my career. 17. I'd like to think so. The missus might say differently. Um, I think we all are, aren't we, at heart? Great. I'm enjoying my time here in Birmingham. I really liked it. Yeah, um, I'd say overall no, London, I don't think you can really beat London. Number 11. In Greece, with the kids, family, um, how Kadiki it was. So yeah, we spent two weeks there chasing the kids around the pool and yeah, getting chased everywhere, causing mayhem. Um, so yeah, it was Greece, 19. I got Muhammad Ali, just for in terms of sport and what he, not just sport, but political, his life. It's amazing stories to come from him when they're listening to him. Um, so, Muhammad Ali, um, yeah, what's what I go for? Good questions. Um, George Best, would be an interesting one, wouldn't it? I'm not sure if you'd make it to the end of the night with a few beers on the, on the table and stuff, but it's an interesting life he had. I'd probably go George Best. So Muhammad Ali, George Best, I think of someone outside of sport. Um, hmm. Struggling there. Comedian, singer. Michael Jackson. He was my favorite, um, favorite artist of all time for me. Um, yeah, get some stories out of him, won't we?